We have been waiting for this moment ever since we started to think about coming to Turkey. We've spent the last couple of days driving about nine hours from Lake Van to this random lake in the middle of the desert and we've got about four hours to go to our destination. And we are hitting the road bright and early this morning, not just because we're excited, but also because the call to prayer woke us up at stupid o'clock. No joke, it literally sounded like we were asleep inside the mosque. You know what, I am so glad that that mosque woke us up at half four this morning. Like, it feels like we are seeing the world at a time when no one else sees it. And it feels a bit like a secret. Like, I'm blown away, but it's just the same world we would have seen if we got up at nine. But it feels so much more unique because there's nobody else around. And we're also 2,000 meters up, so that's probably why there's no one else here. It's just lovely. I feel so grateful for today. There are many benefits to driving this early in the morning. Not only are the roads super quiet, which is really nice, but also the light is just gorgeous over the hills. We've just stopped for a little breakfast pit stop and I just wanted to so you might think that we travel fast, like doing nine hours over the last few days and then four today, and you'd be right, actually. Like, the van life, slow life, it's not really how we do things. We're here in Turkey to see as much as we can, and we've only got a limited time. We also work half the week, so we have to maximize that time off to, to see all the beautiful spots that Turkey's got, because it has a lot of them. So today is drive, drive, drive early so we can get to our destination and then really enjoy it and hopefully show you guys exactly what it's like to be in these most beautiful spots that Turkey has to offer. Goodness. Hello. Hi, donkey friend. 
<laughs> Don't eat my hand. Oh, you're so used to all the tourists, huh? Can I stroke your head? Hello. Hi. No. Look at those big ears. Oh, this is a lovely welcome to the car park. Isn't it? No, you can't come inside. He's trying to get in the bus. Well, this is quite the welcome to Cappadocia. This is Cappadocia. No, it needs to be more emotional than that. This is Cappadocia, a magical wonderland where influencers from across the globe travel for the perfect Instagram shot. But in all seriousness, guys, this place is epic. Now we all know that the real show happens in the mornings here, but we plan to be here for a good few days, maybe more. So let's go and explore. It is seriously like another planet here. Honestly, these rocks are just insane. I actually can't believe that all of these used to be like little cave houses and cave churches. I'm absolutely in awe. The carvings are so cute and like they're like little fairy houses. I guess that's why they do call them fairy chimneys. That makes sense. It's just such a weird but totally wonderful landscape. I'm in love. It's weird, there's so many people around and like on ATVs and stuff like that, but there's no one else here. Like actually looking at the houses, it's crazy. Surely this is where you want to come and like put your head in and see how other people used to live back in whenever this was habited. Inhabited? <laughs> Habitated? Hab uh. Okay, next time I'm wearing trainers. So as you can see, we've made it back to the van. We're relaxing, about to have some grub, watching the ATVs go off on their sunset tour. And we will pick you up bright and early in the morning for what is hopefully the spectacle of Turkey so far. Well, that was quite the way to start the morning. Now we have work today. I mean, isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's how we started our work day. But the balloons are high up in the sky now. And that was just, words cannot describe how magical that was. Honestly, I just can't stop looking at them. It is absolutely magical, but 
it's also like a military operation. Like people are here, they're setting stuff up, it's like go, 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 like so many balloons. Now the balloons are done, there's horse rides and then there's jeep tours for sunrise. Like I, I bet they make a lot of money here, <laughs> but I can totally see why. And we got it all for free, baby. Oh my God. They just keep coming, to be honest. Not even just... sure where they're coming from. No, it's amazing. And the sun is just about to peep above the top of the rocks over here. Just incredible. And I think we're gonna do this for the next like two or three days. Just get up early and enjoy the balloons. So the pilot that just landed literally over there has just come over before he left and ran over and just gave us a bottle of champagne to say welcome and I hope you had a lovely time. That's turkey for you. <laughs> you had a good flight? Yes, of course. Oh wow. This is yours. Enjoy oh. your time. Thank, thank you very are you? much. We are, we are very, very good. good. Thank you. You happy? We are oh, happy. It's how could beautiful. You not be happy? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You good because we think about for this morning is castle first. Oh, really? But is the flight time also much windy, much yes. wind, no, no windy, much wind is the first wind. But the ground level and high level today, I go like 800, 850 meters, the wow. ground level. Okay. Is it beautiful? Yeah. Good day. Oh, very good. Have a nice day. time. Have Thank a nice whole so day. Thank you bye very bye. much. Bye. Nice Enjoy to meet you. you. That's very sweet. We have some sh champagne, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Ready? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Where did that go? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. It's like apple juice. <laughs> I didn't get glasses out. Oh well, here. <laughs> Nearly took out one of the other motorhomes. <laughs> That's not champagne. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like schler. Ah, we're so classy. My word, it feels like we have been awake for like a day already. And it's only nine o'clock. <laughs> Half eight, it's half eight. <laughs> so we are just chilling, enjoying this peaceful place because I had this envision that Kafuki was gonna be kind of frantic and a bit crazy because it's a big tourist destination, you know. It's on like everyone's bucket list, but it's not. It's so calm, there's like no one around seeing as the, since the balloons have gone away. It's just us in this. Beautiful, beautiful location. So before we start work for the day, I'm gonna do some hand washing cause I am going commando, haven't had any clean knickers for a while. So that's just van life. But now I'm gonna change that. better make sure I get the skidders off of Meeks's pants. Honestly, boys. I'm only joking, he doesn't actually have skidders on his pants.
morning guys. I am on my own this morning. Meeks has gone off to find a hairdresser and I'm gonna explore the town of Gorem. I think this is kind of the central town of Cappadocia. So we're gonna have a wander around and see what it's got to offer. We parked here last night on this little street in the middle of town, just opposite an Indian restaurant. We went for Indian food for the first time in like eight months and it was amazing. And we didn't realise, we thought it was free to park, but the parking attendant just asked me for a hundred lira for the overnight charge, so oops, that's like five quid. So it's not the end of the world and it was convenient, it meant Meeks could have like a couple of beers whilst we had our meal. And, you know, a good place to explore the town. Gorem being the main tourist destination in Cappadocia. There are hundreds and hundreds of cave hotels. They've all got beautiful rooftop terraces where you can watch the balloons from in the morning, eat breakfast and all that jazz, drink and chai. And they just look lovely. Now on top of the typical activities to do here in Gorem or in the whole of Cappadocia really, quad biking, horse riding, Jeep rides, vintage cars, those are like the four main things that you see. We have actually booked a couple of pretty unusual experiences on Airbnb experiences uh, with a local guy. Tonight we are going to do sunset yoga and then on Saturday we're going on a bike tour of Pigeon Valley and Love Valley and that'll be really nice. <laughs> Just saw our little donkey friend from when we first arrived. Just chilling in the middle of the road. Silly donkey. Welcome to our new spot. I'm absolutely posh. It's like 26, 27 degrees today. So I'm gonna quickly make some fresh orange juice and then we're gonna head out on a hike. I vow to never drink cottoned orange juice again. Just can't compete with that. It's a big cup. <laughs> Van life, save on washing up. Can I have some? Fine.
So we just had the most beautiful yoga session with Niazi watching the sun go down. We have a tiny bit of sunlight left. We're all feeling very relaxed now, I think. And it was just a wonderful, wonderful session. So we are very grateful to him. I will leave his uh, details in the description box below because if you come to Cappadocia and you want to do something a little bit different and have a wonderful moment in amongst this lovely landscape, then you should definitely reach out to him. Doing yoga reminds me how inflexible and shaky I am when I'm doing it. <laughs> but Are you still enjoy it? Yeah. It'll get easier. It will. With practice. I imagine there will be lots of viewers that would be in the same position as me, <laughs> feeling neglect of stretching for their whole lives. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Good morning guys. Just wanted to jump on and say how I feel about last night's sunset yoga. Um, if I'm honest, before we went on it, I was thinking, oh, this is gonna be a bit too much artsy fartsy for me. And when we were doing a little bit of like the chanting bit at the end, I was kind of like, oh. But upon reflection, it was really nice. Like. It felt quite connected, being in that location where we were, watching the sunset. And I'm not ashamed to say that I would do it again, I think. Um, the instruction was incredible. And uh, yeah, I felt quite relaxed from it, even if I couldn't do half the stretches or touch my toes. But today is something that's a bit more my kind of thing. And uh, the same instructor, I've forgotten his name, we'll put it here, is taking us on a guided cycle tour of a couple of the valleys. So that's exciting, get to do a little bit of like off-road biking, um, burn some energy, burn some calories. Yeah, so I am dead excited for that. Bit cloudy today, but we'll manage. Well, I'm just as excited as Meeks actually for this cycle ride. Something different to do in Cappadocia other than just the usual tourist activities that you commonly see like on Instagram and stuff. So we're happy to have found this one. Niazi is here, he's parking up, so we're just downing our coffee and then we're gonna hit the road ready to go and find our valley for our cycle. Honestly, this guy is so nice. I just went to say hello. Yesterday, he bought us a bottle of wine because in Turkey, he says, it's tradition. When you go to someone's house, you bring them a gift. So every time he comes to meet us at the caravan, he buys us a gift. Today is traditional raisins and apricots from the region. And that's the generator for the coffee bus over there. So that's the real van life. It was peaceful, now it's not. Oh, 
Well, that was damn good. I think that's probably the best um, Airbnb hosted experience that I've had. It might be the only one actually thinking about it, but it was so personal. We got to see so many of the like hidden places that we probably would never have seen without his knowledge. Uh, the church at the end was fantastic. And he's just generally a lovely bloke. <laughs> Like, that made it so much better, and we spent five, five and a half hours out today, and then the Sunset Yoga on top, so it's incredible value for money, um, 65 quid for the both of us, so we're over the moon with how that was, or I am at least, and what a way to start the day and end it, because I'm bloody knackered now, so I'm going to go and sit in there and watch the football and then have a nap. My legs are so tired. I think he said we cycled like 10 to 15 kilometers, which is only like seven miles. <laughs> I'm knackered. My legs are just like jelly. So what does that tell you, Courtney? You need to do some more exercise. <sighs> well, yeah, as Mick said, we are just so grateful to Niazi for all of his local knowledge for sharing all of his favorite places with us we never would have found loads of those little spots without him he's got so much knowledge about like everything in this area like how the rocks formed like where all the churches are the history of the religions that have been here through time how there used to be a massive lake through where love valley is and that's why they're shaped like big columns with phallic shapes on the top or mushroom shapes on the top because that's where the water level would have been like that just blew my mind and it's been a really really special day and that kind of brings our time in Cappadocia to a close I think we've been here for six days now which is a really long time for us obviously you've seen we've moved spots around the area into different valleys so we feel like we've really explored it all and We've loved it here. I think we will definitely be back someday.